Hi, I'm Tony. Using a rain barrel is a great way to reduce outdoor treated water use, conserve resources, and save on your water bills. A rain barrel collects rainwater that falls on the roof of your house and stores it so you can use it later for tasks around the yard, such as watering your lawn and outdoor plants. In the next few minutes, we'll discuss some rain barrel basics and show you how to set one up. Rain barrels come in lots of different styles. Most models have a spigot or other type of drainage outlet near the bottom designed for garden hose or soaker hose attachment. Some models include a spigot up higher for filling watering cans. Rain barrels may be either sealed or unsealed. Sealed rain barrels, like the one we'll be installing, typically sit next to a downspout and collect water through a downspout diverter. Many of these diverters are designed so that once the barrel is full, excess rainwater will flow through the downspout as it normally would. Unsealed rain barrels have an open area on top that should be screened to catch debris and keep out mosquitoes. Installing an unsealed rain barrel typically involves cutting the downspout a few inches higher than the barrel, reattaching the elbow, and putting the barrel directly underneath to catch water from the downspout. An unsealed rain barrel will eventually overflow if there's enough rain, so it should have an overflow outlet with a hose attachment near the top so you can direct the overflow away from your home's foundation. Rain barrels also come in different capacities, usually between 40 and 75 gallons. Now you might be wondering, how fast can you collect that much water off a roof? It depends on how much rain you get and the size of the roof. But as an example, say you have a downspout that drains water from a 400 square foot area of your roof. If you get one inch of rain, you'd have roughly 250 gallons of water going through the downspout assuming there's no evaporation, leakage, etc. So, a rain barrel can fill up surprisingly fast. Every rain barrel, regardless of type or size, needs to have a secure childproof lid to keep out kids and animals so they can't fall in. Remember that rain barrel water is unpurified roof runoff and may contain bacteria, bird droppings, or other contaminants, so never use it as drinking water or for things like bathing, cooking, or washing dishes or your hands. It's intended for watering lawns and outdoor plants and for tasks such as rinsing dirty shovels and rakes or washing your car. Before setting up your rain barrel, you'll need to decide which downspout to put it under or near. For convenience, you may want to consider putting it near an area you expect to water often or near a part of your yard that's tough to reach with a hose. Wherever you put it, don't plan on moving it when it's full. Water weighs more than eight pounds per gallon so a full 50 gallon rain barrel will weigh more than 400 pounds. Another thing to keep in mind with location is stability. You wouldn't want something that heavy tipping over and hurting someone. So be sure to install your rain barrel on a sturdy, level surface that will withstand the weight of all that water. Raising the rain barrel a foot or so above the ground helps improve water flow and can make it easier to fill watering cans. Keep in mind that even with your rain barrel on a platform, the water pressure will be fairly low, so don't expect to water uphill areas with a hose. Once you've picked a location and ensure that your surface is strong and level, you're ready to install the rain barrel. We'll be installing this sealed model that comes with a downspout diverter kit. You can buy diverter kits separately to use with different rain barrels. The installation procedure and required tools will vary depending on the model you select. So read the manufacturer's instructions from start to finish before you begin. Our first step is to install the drain, spigot, and water inlet on the rain barrel. Then, with the rain barrel in position next to the downspout, we're doing a final check to verify that the side is level. Next, we'll need to cut a hole in the downspout for the diverter. The hole needs to be at precisely the right height. If it's too low, the barrel won't fill. If it's too high, the barrel will end up overflowing. A properly sized hole saw was included with our rain barrel. So once we determine the proper height and mark the center of the downspout, we can attach the hole saw to our drill, put on our safety glasses and gloves, and carefully cut the hole. Then we install the diverter in the hole, connect the hose to the diverter and the barrel, and secure the barrel lid. All we need to do now is wait for the rain. Once you have your rain barrel installed, Double check it during the first rainstorm to ensure it's filling properly and verify good overflow drainage. Also, be sure to check the manufacturer's instructions for use, maintenance, and winter storage to keep your rain barrel in tip-top shape for years to come. 
I'm Tony, and I'll see you next time.